an operation where the heart is completely taken out of the body and you're placed on something called a biventricular assist device. There was no heart available for Mr. Quarterman, so doctors had to figure out a way to keep him alive until we could find one. I had a big device that I was hooked up to. It was about the size of a washing machine. And uh, I would lay in the bed and you could hear that thing just steady, it's just pump, pump, pump. Okay, how about breathing? So I lived for 48 days without having actual heart in my body. Mr. Quarterman's story is simply amazing. I mean, it made headlines across the United States. It made headlines across the world. And how could it not? It's exactly the type of procedure that sets Jackson apart from the rest. Good morning, Dr. How Pam, how you doing? Oh, Fine. They didn't just give me a second life, I've got my total life back. We got the call on Christmas Eve that Amy had been critically injured in a car accident. She was pronounced deceased on the police report. I went through the rear window and um, lost consciousness. Had to have surgery. I was in a coma for four and a half months. Amy suffered severe catastrophic brain injury. Uh, her disabilities included inability to stand, walk, talk, inability to take care of her own bodily functions. We set out to develop a program specially tailored to her needs. How's it going? Very good. Yeah, physically, I'm not a marathon runner, but I can walk and get there. 20 years prior to when Amy was injured, she would have been in a nursing home and left to die. Our family is committed both with our time and our financial support to make sure that anyone in our community that needs Jackson can receive the same top quality treatment that Amy received. I believe I'm able to lead a normal life. I owe it all to Jackson for saving me. At the end of July, um, I noticed one week he was starting to turn yellow. And as the week went on, he's like, I need to take him to the doctor. Something's not right. Brenner has a so-called acute liver failure. Then the standard transplant is to change whole organ. If you change whole organ, then um, it's still a good success rate. It's a still a good surgery, but the thing is that um, he has to take medicine for the rest of his life. In that procedure, they just remove a part of the, the patient's liver and replace it with the donor liver so that it will act as the functioning liver, giving his the chance to regenerate. Give mommy some sugar. I love you. I found a quote that it, it said that I would thank you from the bottom of my heart, but for you my heart has no bottom. And that's so simply the way I feel about the doctors and everybody here at this hospital who just did what they do every day, but they saved my son's life. And for that, I am just eternally grateful. the next five to seven years, uh, Jackson is going to undergo a transformation of really historic proportions that's going to change the face of this institution and secure uh, its future and its role as the heart of medical care in this community for the next 20, 30 years. Pulse Children's Hospital is already well known, the centerpiece of the entire plan. It's a new children's hospital. We've become a great children's hospital, one of the biggest in the country, and yet our facility is about 30 years old. You can't keep up the pace of care for all the kids that come here without a new facility. The emergency room, uh, which is much too small for the amount of demand that's coming through there, will probably double the size of that. The me medical intensive care unit, which is the major recipient of patients coming through the emergency room, will need to be doubled as well. One of the new programs is a new comprehensive cardiac and stroke unit, 
which will be designed to meet the short timelines for the immediate care that these patients require. We want to put a major hotel on campus because we have a lot of people who come here from outside of Miami-Dade, from outside of Florida, from outside of the U.S. We are renovating rooms. We're changing the face of the institution. We've changed the entrance of the hospital to a newer part of the hospital. Having a great medical center supporting Jackson as it tries to transform itself into a cutting edge institution is not an option. It must happen. This transformation is extremely exciting because we're going to be able to have the phenomenal medicine that's practiced here coupled with world-class facilities. The plan we have for this campus is huge. It's going to be very difficult and I'm going to need everyone, uh, everyone in this room, everyone throughout this community to stand up for Jackson because Jackson has stood up for you. I am confident that together we are going to do great things. I'd like to thank Jackson for everything that they've done and tell everyone how blessed I feel. Thank you, God's Angels, for all the work you do. Yay,